this tools in 10, I will be talking about CLE, KLE, and CKLE, and go over some strategies to help your students decide which of the three spelling patterns to use for the sound of KL as a final stable syllable. I will also show how to mark these words for word study and explain a couple of reading strategies that are very helpful for reading words with the KLE and CKLE patterns. CLE, KLE, and CKLE are called consonant LE syllables, and they're found on the bottom of the syllables chart in the sideways L shaped section. This section includes all of the other final stable syllables like shun and chur and idge and jun. Final stable syllables are all found at the ends of words that are two or more syllables. CLE, KLE, and CKLE are found on the consonant LE2 lesson on page 198. But before we talk about strategies for spelling, let's first review how we would have children mark and read words with consonant LE patterns. For all final stable syllables, the simplest way to divide the word is to box the final syllable and then leave it alone. So instead of drawing a line to divide the syllables like we do in other words, the box indicates that it is a separate syllable and shows where the word divides. So for the following words, we would box the consonant LE, say the sound, then read the syllable before it with the final syllable. For example, full, raff, full, raffle, zul, muz, zul, muzzle, kul, sir, Cool. Circle. Now for words that have more than two syllables, after boxing the final syllable, look at the part before it. And if there's more than one vowel, mark the vowels and divide the word according to the syllable division patterns. So for this word, we're going to box and say the sound of C-L-E, cool. Then we will mark our vowels, mark the consonants between, and divide between the consonants, par, t, col, particle. For the next word, box and say the z, l, e, zol. Mark the vowels before it, mark the consonants between, and divide between the consonants, m, bez, zol, m, bezel. Now there are a couple of additional strategies for reading words with KLE and CKLE patterns that are important in helping the students read the words correctly. Almost all words with KLE patterns have ink and ank before it. And we know from tapping the first chart that ink and ank stay together as one chunk and make one sound. We can help students identify the ink and ank chunks to keep together when reading these words. So for the words crinkle and ankle, box the KLE, underline the ink and ank, and keep the chunks together to read the word. Now, if a child doesn't keep the ink or ank together as one chunk, she might read the words as crinkle and ankle. And if this happens, just guide the child by saying, do you see something from your first chart that we keep together as one chunk? That's right, we keep ink together as one chunk, or we keep ink together as one chunk. Then have them underline the NK chunk and read the word again. Words with CKLE can be connected to the CK ending rule. Ask the students to recall the CK ending rule. Do you guys remember? In a one syllable word with one short vowel, CK says K when it touches the vowel. Help them to identify the CK words in these consonant LE words so they read the word correctly. You can have them box the CK LE and say the sound, and then find the one syllable CK word inside, read it, and then add the LE ending, the ol ending. Keeping the CK sound with the first syllable helps the child read the syllable as a closed syllable with a short vowel sound like pickle and buckle rather than an open syllable with a long vowel sound 
like pical and buccal. Now let's talk about spelling strategies. If you take a look at the words on the page, you may notice that there are patterns in the words with different spellings. And these are helpful to note for spelling purposes. What pattern do you see, or rather hear, in the words with C-K-L-E? Buckle, pickle, shackle, trickle. Have you noticed all these words have a short vowel in the first syllable? How about the words with K-L-E? These words all either have ink or ank chunks in them, with the exception of the word sparkle. And words with the C-L-E spelling, which is the most common spelling for this sound, you may have noticed are mostly three-syllable words, starting with the word icicle, bicycle, tricycle, motorcycle, spectacle, etc. There are just three two-syllable words in this section, circle, uncle, and cycle. But notice that with the exception of the word uncle, the other two words don't have a short vowel sound. The word circle has a bossy R sound and the word cycle has a long vowel sound. So we can think about all of these patterns and apply them to spelling the words. When spelling words, a regular strategy we use is segmenting the sounds on our arm, which is called arm spelling or arm tapping. For two syllable words that end in consonant LE, there are two ways you can arm spell the words. You could tap each of the syllables separately, like you would do for most two syllable words. For example, backpack, you would take one syllable, back, b, a, k, back, and then the next syllable, pack, h, a, k, pack. You could do that for these consonant LE um, words, or you could simply add the ending syllable on the wrist. And here are some examples of that. So for a circle, the first sound is s, middle sound, er, and then we hear col at the end that we can put on the wrist rather than making that a separate syllable. For freckle, we hear fur at the beginning, a eh in the middle, and then col at the wrist. If the K sound is part of a chunk like ink and ank, we would keep the chunk together, which leaves the ul at the end. So for the word ankle, we're going to keep ank together on the shoulder and then follow with the ul sound. Ank, ul, ankle. It sounds a little different than how we would naturally say it, but if we were to say it like it is spoken, it would sound like ang, kul. And a student would spell it with the ang, the A-N-G, because that's what they hear. So many times it's helpful to say a word the way it is spelled to help the students spell it correctly. For practice with arm spelling and writing words with the three different spellings, you could use this three column worksheet. The sheet includes the rule for each spelling under each heading and some examples. As you arm spell words to write, listen to the vowel sound or the number of syllables to decide which spelling of cold to use. Let me demonstrate how you can use this practice sheet to spell some words. So I cut off the top of the worksheet and stapled it onto a page in a notebook. To start, it may be helpful to scaffold the work and start with two spellings at a time and then add on the third when your students have developed accuracy and fluency with the two. The first word that we're going to arm spell and write is chuckle. Let's put that on our arm. Chuckle. Ch -a Cool. Chuckle. Let's listen to what we hear. Do we hear ink or ank in that word? Ch a cool. No. Does the first syllable have a short vowel sound? Ch a cool. Yes, we hear a. Uh. That is a short u. Let's arm spell and write that word. Ch a cool. Let's box that C K L E. And we can do this strategy to help students make sure they've got all the sounds and they've spelled that word correctly. Chuckle. Remember that CK sticks to the end of a word or a syllable. Let's find that CK ending word, chuck, in that word. And that just reinforces that pattern. Let's try the next word, twinkle. Let's arm spell it. Tw ink -ol. Twinkle. Do we hear ink or ank in that word? Yes, we hear ink, twinkle. Let's arm spell it and write it. Tw, 
ink O. And let's box that K-L-E. And remember that chunk that we keep together is I-N-K, ink. All right, now look at the third spelling. The word is particle. Let's arm spell that one. Let's break the syllables up first. Particle. That's a three syllable word. So when we have three syllable words, we use this spelling. Let's put each syllable on our arm. Par. P. R. T. T. I. Coal. C L E says coal. Roll box that C L E and check our spelling. Par. T. Coal. Next word is circle. Circle. Well, that's a two syllable word. So let's see. Let's put it on our arm first. Circle. Does the first syllable have ink or ink? Sir. Nope. Does it have a short vowel sound? Sir. No, I hear er. That's a bossy R. So we're going to use the C L E spelling for that. Circle. Let's arm spell and write the word. S this one starts with a C. C says S er. Hmm. Which er is it? I R. And then coal. C L E says coal. We can box that. Check our spelling. Sir coal. So after doing a bit of guided practice, try dictating some words to write on a bingo board to play later or play a game of tic-tac-toe. Students can use the top part of the worksheet as a guide as they arm spell and write the words. This repeated practice will help in mapping these patterns into long-term memory.